In today's episode on the Dive Saga channel, we are going on a treasure hunt as we are diving for prehistoric megalodon shark teeth in Florida. Today we are diving in Florida, specifically Venice Beach, Florida. I am visiting my friend Dave who happens to be a megalodon tooth fossil instructor and it's an early morning as we drive to the harbor to team up with black gold dive charters and their expert megalodon tooth finder Captain Michael Nastasio. I remember, you know what, you can look at the teeth in my collection. I can tell you every tooth, where I found it, how it was laying, and probably what came out of my mouth when I found it. <laughs> Captain Michael Nastasio is among the best when it comes to finding the sweet spots for megalodon tooth diving. But before we dive in, let's clear some things up. What exactly is a megalodon shark? In a nutshell, megalodon shark were prehistoric shark. But judging by their teeth fossils, which we find to this day, they were very, very large prehistoric sharks. It is then no surprise that their scientific name, Otodus megalodon, means big tooth. They're an extinct species of mackerel shark, which we think lived between 23 and 3 million years ago. And while it is regarded as one of the most fearsome predators to have ever lived, we really only know about its existence due to fragmental remains, such as the teeth, which we can find in abundance in some areas around the world. The most recent estimates suggest that the average megalodon shark was around 10 meters long, that is 30 feet, but the larger ones could have reached sizes up to 20 meters or 65 feet, with teeth that are 5 to 6 inches long each. For a human being, that would have been absolutely terrifying. Captain Nastasio has what he calls a megtooth guarantee. Over the course of three dives, he commits to finding a spot where the chances of finding megalodon teeth fossils are extremely high. Megalodons lived in most of the world's oceans and teeth are found in marine coastal deposits around the world. In the United States, they're mostly found along the southeastern Atlantic coast in Florida, Georgia, North and South Carolina and Maryland, as well as the Gulf side of Florida where we are today. After a briefing on what exactly we are looking for today, it is time to suit up. We also get handed one last piece of important equipment, Black Gold's proprietary Megtooth bag. Oh, are you ready? Yes, I am. First of all, look at that magnetic bag. You know how many times it shuts? <laughs> Every time. It is go time. So Megtooth fossil instructor Dave and I roll in the water and get ready for descent. There's decent current today and the visibility isn't very good. So we need to pull ourselves down the anchor line to make sure we end up in Captain Nastasio's designated hunting grounds. So what exactly are we looking for here? Surely these prehistoric monster shark teeth aren't just laying around for divers to find. Well, turns out they kind of do. Because the sharks lived for a stretch of 20 million years, there simply are a lot of them. And in the right areas, for whatever reason, because scientists cannot really figure it out, there simply are a lot of tooth fossils. The best strategy is to dive some kind of search pattern, like a U pattern, at a deliberate speed and just look on top of the sediment, because often the sediment gets disturbed and new fossils get unearthed. 
It's also a valid strategy to learn to recognize remains from different angles. So for instance, laying upside down or partially sticking out of the sand. That way you increase your chances of finding a megalodon tooth. As soon as I get in the water, I fall into old habits and start capturing wildlife. But as I am lining up a shot, Instructor Dave calls my attention. He found his first partial meg tooth. We're only minutes into the dive, but Dave is setting the record straight. We are here to focus on meg teeth. Time for me to shape up and start looking. It is hard though, because I'm new at this and at this point anything could look like a megalodon tooth and a little bit of practice is definitely required. Then Dave calls for my attention. Did he find another meg tooth already? Not this time. Dave stumbled upon a whale vertebra. It may not be the tooth of a prehistoric mega shark, but it's still pretty cool. I think I'm starting to understand what we're looking for. While megalodon teeth are definitely the name of the game, this location is a deposit for a variety of fossils and anything could have a cool story so long as you recognize what it is. That being said, it's very important to stay out of the way of wildlife while looking for your prehistoric treasure. And then I find my first megalodon tooth. It's a little bit chipped on the side, but otherwise whole and in good shape. We are off to the races because Dave just found another one, small but in complete condition. This is exciting and I'm starting to see why people enjoy this kind of diving. Suddenly I spot something I recognize. It's only half a tooth, but it's huge. This tooth is over 6 inches and if it were whole it would have been a considerable find. But it is not, so we continue. Despite the poor visibility, the keen observer can see parallel lines in the sand. Going up and down these lines is the key to success. Many artifacts are just laying on top of the sand. Like this prehistoric horse tooth. Look at the size of that tooth. And then, at the very last few minutes of our very last dive, I strike gold. A pristine, beautiful, massive megalodon shark tooth. The barnacle growth on the tooth makes it almost better. Are you ready? Dude, that's a good one. <laughs> Look, that's from the cameraman right there. <laughs> good job, buddy. High five. Nice. That's awesome. That's some black gold right there. Big, big one too. And that's pretty. The burlet, which is like the gum line there. Just scrape some of that off. Oof. I like when they're easy to clean. It's got some brown and like gold in it. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Big, big baby? That's a pretty tooth. No, I don't think it's gonna. Not, not as much, maybe. No, but that's a that's a great tooth, dude. That's over four. Nice. So you joined the. Can you measure it now? Yeah, right there. Uh, so this long side is the one without the curve. Other side. <laughs> that's a big one too. What do you? Oh. Other side. Nice. The one with the curve is always. Oh two. wow! It's like four and a half. That's a <laughs> great tooth. Great tooth. Good job. Whew. I am proud of you. And you progressed every single dive. Yes. You started off slow. <laughs> so these other, and that's okay, I expect that. There's a tooth that. in there, a bear. I think. Oh, he got a horse tooth. Horse, okay, yeah. That yeah. thing's big too. That is a big. The thickness of that uh -huh. thing. With Captain Nastasio and Megtooth instructor Dave proud of me, 
I'm returning to land a happy diver. What an amazing adventure in Florida. So that's mine, that's the one I found. It's actually pretty crazy. On the third dive of the day, pretty much at the end of the dive, on top of the sediment. It's about four and a half inches, it's in pretty good shape. And the idea that this was in some giant shark's mouth 15 or so million years ago is absolutely crazy to me. It's just another one of those reasons that I scuba dive. Now, I deeply want to thank instructor David Till for taking me along on this trip, as well as Black Gold Fossil Charters for bringing us to the sweet spots. Now, as you've noticed, I'm really going out of my way to make amazing content for this channel. At least that's what I think, because I'm having a great time doing it. If you're having a great time watching it, you would do us a huge favor by subscribing to the channel, leaving a like, leaving a comment, interact, engage. I'm so happy to always do that so that I can keep making new adventures for all of us to enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.